video we are going to solve a problem on how to obtain the transfer function of a control system using the signal flow graph so let's see our problem So this is our problem and you can see that we are given the block diagram of the system and we have to find out the transfer function of this system using the Mason's gain formula. So Mason's gain formula is used for the signal flow graph. So we have to convert this block diagram into its corresponding signal flow graph. So let's see how we can convert the block diagram of a system into a signal flow graph. So first we will mark or we will make the note for each of the variables in the system and the summing point and the takeoff points. So this is the input node. So it will be our node and then we have this takeoff point. Okay, or we can say this is the point which is dividing this. So it will be also named as the node. So it will be x1. This is the node takeoff point will be taken as another node. So x2. This is summing point, another node x3. Then we have this as x4. Okay, now come to this side. This is x5. Then we have x6, this summing point is x7 and this is as x8 and this is our output node. So we have total 10 nodes in this. Now let's draw the signal flow graph. This is R. Then for this we have here as x1. Then we have x2. And between x1 and x2 block g2 is connected having the transfer function g2 or transmittance as g2 so it is written on the arrow then between x2 and x3 we have g4 this is g4 this is x3 x3 and x4 we have g7 and again this x4 it is taken downward and it is x8 and x4 is connected to the output node c now downwards we have x5 then we have x6 between x5 and x6 the block g3 is connected so we have g3 then x7 and between x6 and x7 we have this g5 x7 and x8 we have g6 okay now the node x7 and x2 they are also connected x7 and x2 here so we have to connect x7 with x2 and between this the block g1 is connected so we will have and the, see the direction of the arrows it is G1 and between X6 and X3 we have a G8 so we will connect this X6 with X3 see the direction of arrow it is this 
so and having the transfer function or transmittance as g8 okay so this is the signal flow graph for this system now we can apply the messens gain formula now so let's write the messens gain formula So the Messen's gain formula is summation of PK del K from K equals to 1 to K divided by del. So for this we have to find out the forward parts, the loop and the non-touching loops. So our step 1 is find out the forward parts in the signal flow graph. So this was the signal flow graph of our system and for this system we have the forward path as R and then we have G2, G4, G7 till the output. So our first forward path that is P1 is G2, G4, G7. Then we have second forward path as G3, G5, G6 till output. So we have G3, G5 and G6. Now is there any other forward path? Yes, we have G2, then we have G1, then G6 till the output. So we have G2, G1, G6. Now, is there any other? Yes, we have G3, G8 and G7. Do we have any other forward path? I think we have only four forward paths. So for these forward paths, we have to find out del 1, del 2, del 3 and del 4. So for del 1, is there any loop? Is there any loop which is not touching the forward paths? No, there are no loops. So del 1, del 2, del 3 and del 4, they will be equals to 1. Now step number 2 is to find out the loops in the signal flow graph. So is there any loop? No, I think so. We don't have any loop in this system because all the arrows they are in forward direction. No arrow is in the backward direction. So there will be no loop in this system. So we are having loops as 0 or nil in this system. Now step number 3 is to find out the del. So del will be 1 minus the sum of the gains of the individual loops. And as we are not having any loop in the system, so it will be 1 minus 0 that is 1. So for this system, we have del as 1. Now our next step is to put the values of all these variables in this Messen's gain formula so that we will be able to find out the overall transfer function of the system. So let's put the values. We have T as the summation of PK and del K and the value of K is from 1 2, 3 and 4 because we are having 4 forward paths. So we will have P1 del 1 plus P2 del 2 plus P3 del 3 plus P4 del 4 and divided by del. So T will be equals to putting the values of all the forward paths we will get
as del 1, del 2, del 3 and del 4, they are 1. So we are putting their value as 1 and then we have put the values of P1, P2, P3 and P4. And then del, it will be equal to 1. So our transfer function will be equal to So this is the value of the transfer function or we can say that it is the ratio of the output and the input. So this is the answer or solution to our problem. I hope you have clearly understood the problem. Thank you.